I finally made it to HEB. This is one of my favorite grocery stores. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a haul from one of my favorite grocery stores, which is HEB. Now, if you're not familiar with HEB, it's a grocery store chain that is only here in Texas. Um, if I had to describe HEB to you, I would say it's kind of like a Trader Joe's, only 10 times bigger, and it has the same cult-like following. The reason HEB is so great is because they have a lot of local products to Texas and they use um, Texas farmers and growers and manufacturers and so I made a special trip there just to pick up some of my favorite Texas items. Now this grocery haul is not going to be a healthy grocery haul at all. It's not going to be a traditional grocery haul where you're going to see fruits and dairy and meat and stuff like that. This is really a lot of snacks and like I said, things that are specific to Texas. And so I am doing this haul on my kitchen table. Normally I would be doing it on my dining room table, but my husband's been working from home since the pandemic started. He kind of took over the dining room table. So I'm gonna show you, um, this is probably gonna be in two or three parts. So let me just jump in. If you like this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and we'd love to have you join our YouTube family. So let's get started. We'll start at the back of the table. I got some uh, arroz con pollo. Um, this is a rice and chicken mix. All you do is add chicken to it. I got two boxes. I have not seen this before. I only make a trip to HEB probably once a year because it's more than an hour away from me. Um, so I haven't seen that before, so I grabbed two boxes, and all this stuff is really inexpensive. I think this was less than $2 a box. The other thing that I saw that I'd never seen before was their Hill Country Fair Wild Blueberry Mix. And this is a store brand too. Um, so HEB has HEB products and then also Hill Country Fair products as well. So they have this blueberry muffin mix that I'd never seen before, so I grabbed two boxes. I also grabbed two boxes of their deluxe macaroni and cheese mix. And then I grabbed actually several boxes of their pound cake mix. Um, I have had this before and it is really, really good. It tastes homemade. As you can see, it was made in Kerrville, Texas. And I grabbed um, a box, some boxes for me and also for my mom as well. Now this I have seen, of course, in local grocery stores, but I haven't been able to find it. So I just grabbed a box. And then I grabbed HEB cheddar crackers as well. And then I also grabbed um, some Texas style sweet tea. And this is not the refrigerated kind. This was on the shelf. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed um, for my dad who I'll be, whenever I see him next, I'll be giving this to him. But he likes sweet tea and he likes lemonade like an Arnold Palmer. And he also likes strawberries. So I got him this, which is um, strawberry lemonade and ice, with iced tea, which I thought was pretty interesting. Then I grabbed two packages of HEB pasta. One of them is the mini bow tie and I got it just because it's cute and I've never seen mini bow tie pasta like that. Um, these were 82 cents a bag. And then I also grabbed a bag of um, penne because my husband likes that. We don't have any penne and this was like I said, 82 cents a bag too. And these are one pound bags, I forgot to mention that. I also got some HEB cooking sauce for Scampi. And here's a description. It says Italian inspired, prepared with white wine, garlic, butter, and lemon juice. So I got a package of that. Never tried that before, but I wanted to give it a try. And then I also got two packages of their creamy tomato and basil soup. And there it is right here, description. It says a creamy blend of tomatoes with basil, Parmesan, and extra virgin olive oil and it's a microwavable package. You just tear it and then you microwave it. And my husband and I, we both like um, tomato basil soup and you know, I stay at home full time with the baby and he's been working from home, so this will be a quick lunch for us. I grabbed two packages of the pizza crust because I have had a hard time finding this, finding this in my neck of the woods. So these were a dollar a package, so I grabbed two. And then I saw another sauce packet that I hadn't tried before. This is creamy Parmesan. And all you do is add 
add um, meat to this. I think, let me go check, sorry. Oh, so you add chicken. So you add chicken to this and then you can add pasta as well. But I thought that's a quick dish to make during the week. I don't feel like cooking. And then I really, really like their uh, sweet and salty bars. So I've had the almond before, and I've also had the peanut before. Um, what's new to me is this one, which is sweet and salty pretzel and honey, and then also chocolate chip and peanut butter. So those sounded really good to me. Um, let's see what else. I grabbed two small cans of crushed pineapple because I have a couple of recipes and I have had the hardest time finding small cans of crushed pineapple. So I grabbed two of those. And then I grabbed this trail mix for my husband. I think this was $3.28, I believe. Um, but you get roasted almonds, coconut toffee cashews, dried sweetened papaya, dried sweetened pineapple, and sweetened banana chips. So I got him that, he likes stuff like that. I got this um, for me and for also for my husband if he wants to try it, but this was something new to me. This is sweet onion almonds, and that sounds really good. I love almonds and I love uh, savory things, so I'm hoping that's more savory than sweet. And then I got a PB and Chocolate Lovers Trail Mix for myself. And this is, it says semi-sweet chocolate chips, peanuts, mini peanut butter cups, creamy peanut drops, honey roasted sesame sticks, and almonds. And again, this was $3.28.2. And then I just got some cake flour because it's so cheap there. Uh, again, it's HEB, it was $1.98. And then I got another cooking sauce. This is bacon and chives, and you just add potatoes. And it says creamy butter sauce prepared with bacon, chives, and some salt, so I grabbed that. Grab these cinnamon cookies, just because they sounded good. I've never had them before, but they come individually packaged and they look like they're crunchy and I like crispy, crunchy cookies, so I got that. For my husband, I picked up this box of cookies. It says the Nettie Blonde. It comes with uh, pecans, coconut, cashews, macadamias, almonds, and peanuts. And it also has white chocolate chips, as you can see right there. And then um, this is a cookie that um, I think I'll like. My husband may like it too, but these are cowboy cookies, which are a popular cookie in this region of the country, but I've never seen them packaged like this. Um, and a, you know, you can just buy them off the shelf. So it comes with pecans, oats, and chocolate. And that sounded really good to me. Here is another local flavor that was new to me too. It is a sandwich cookie but it's a cinnamon spiced cookie with sweet cream cheese flavored filling, which is really interesting and it sounds good to me. So I wanted to give that a try. And then I also got these the mini monster cookies and they come with chocolate chunks, uh, chocolate gems, which are like basically plain M&Ms, almonds and oats. And then they had a um, ballpark trail mix, which is something that's just seasonal. So this is not something they have all the time, but it comes with peanuts, almonds, caramel, popcorn, pretzels, honey roasted sesame sticks, and chili cheese corn jacks. So that's what they look like. And then they have the best um, cake mixes as evidenced by that pound cake but um, I got a couple of boxes of this Texas sheet cake and it comes with everything that you need. It comes with the frosting, it comes with the cake mix. I'll turn it over so that you can kind of see what you need to make the cake and the frosting. And so I got a couple of boxes of this sheet cake mix for me and my mom. Um, let's see here. I also got two boxes of rice. Um, one is South Texas flavor, and that one has tomato, onion, and cumin. And then I also got a queso, which is uh, rice with cheddar cheese and jalapenos. So that sounded really good to me too. And then I got some HEB almond butter with honey. H-E-B peanut butter with honey, with Texas wildflower honey. And then I also got just a jar of just regular Texas creamy peanut butter. So let me put this stuff up and then I will come back and show you the rest of the pantry items that I picked up as well as some um, kitchen items. And then I also got some freezer items as well. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back with part two. 
there is gonna be a part three, by the way. So I got this um, H-E-B juice for my husband. This is orange juice in mango puree. And then I got two jars of Just the Sauce Carbonara. Um, and it comes, it has pancetta and pecorino cheese. It's, excuse me, it's pancetta and pecorino cheese sauce. You just add pasta. Um, I like carbonara, but I do not like the fact that it has egg yolks in it. This does not. So I was excited about that. Grabbed two of those. I got some um, um, pizza sauce with roasted garlic for the pizzas we're gonna be doing. And I got several different pasta sauces. Um, I got garlic and herb pasta sauce. And then I got tomato and basil pasta sauce. And then I got a large jar of um, medium picante sauce. I got a couple of juices for my husband. I got mango and not sure how to pronounce that, but I got this one. And then I got a bunch of condensed soup. So I got two cans of cream of mushroom. I will say I've never bought store brand cream of anything. I usually just get Campbell's, um, but I love H-E-B products so much. I'm hoping and I'm sure that this is probably gonna be just fine. Two cans of cream of mushroom, two cans of cream of chicken, this is a new one for me, cream of jalapeno and cream of poblano. I got two cans each. I like to make a lot of casseroles, so I thought maybe, depending on the casserole, I can sub out a cream of mushroom or a cream of chicken for a jalapeno or a cream of poblano. I got two cans of the charro beans. These are really good, we like these. Um, and then we got, I got two cans of spicy charro beans. And then I got a can of um, country style baked beans with bacon and extra brown sugar. I got two cans of refried charro beans. I got a couple of bags of lightly salted Fritos. I got a bag of spicy barbecue Fritos. I said Fritos, corn chips. And then I got a bag of ghost pepper corn chips as well. A bag of unsalted restaurant style tortilla chips. I've never seen unsalted anywhere but H-E-B and I love unsalted chips. And then I cannot remember if I showed you guys this when I was um, showing you the other groceries just a little while ago. I got two packages of this pizza crust mix and this is a local brand. I wanted to give it a try. So I got the Betty Crocker and then I got two of these and I've never tried them before, but they were pretty cheap. Um, so I wanted to try that. And then I have been looking everywhere for Rainier cherries and they haven't looked good around here. So I saw these, these are so pretty. I grabbed them, they were $4.97 a pound. And okay, that's it. Let me put this stuff up and then I'll get out the frozen stuff. Okay guys, so this is the last of it. So I got four different pints of H-E-B ice cream. I tried to get stuff that we hadn't tried before. So I got this candy bar, creamy creations and uh, let's see, rich peanut butter ice cream, natural flavor, chocolate covered peanuts, caramel swirls. Um, I don't know what else is in there. That's all I see. And then got a lemon cookie one. Now this is just plain old vanilla, which of course we've had before, but my husband loves vanilla ice cream. So he wanted to try this one specifically. And um, also got us a coconut almond ice cream. That sounded good to both of us. Then I don't think I may have tried um, a sesame chicken before. It's one of the kind that you, um, you make in the skillet and you add the sauce. Now, I may have tried it, but I know I haven't tried H-E-B's version, so I grabbed that. Also, I have never tried this. These are breakfast flautas. And so um, this one is bacon, egg, and cheese. And then this one is brisket, egg, and cheese. And they come with um, like a little crisper thing that you use in the microwave to make them crispy. So sounded good to me. You get six of them in a box. And then I wanted to try a couple of um, their dinner entrees. So I got the poblano chicken lasagna with cream sauce. That looked good to me. And then I got a pepperoni lasagna with marinara. That also looked good to me as well. Last couple of things I got. I got these disposable pizza trays. They are oven safe 
and you get five in a package and I got three. So I had the bright idea to get these so that when Howard and I make our own pizzas, we can bake them at the same time because right now our pizza trays are so big, you can only cook one pizza at a time. So I thought these would be small enough to fit in the oven. I just tried them in the oven and you cannot get two in there side by side. But they're still pretty good because you can make your pizza right on the tray. You don't have to move it anywhere else. You can just make it, bake it, and then throw this away. So I got that and then I have been wanting a meat chopper for a while and they had them there and they were pretty inexpensive, like uh, $3 and some change. So that is it. That is my entire haul from HEB. Like I said, it's not a traditional haul at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We do grocery hauls and I also um, have what's for dinner videos that come out on Tuesdays. We do taste tests and all sorts of fun stuff. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.